A sad note on this Friday, Cincinnati's own hidden figure, Gussie Wallace, has died at 101 years old. Reporter Taylor Nimmo met up with her family to talk about Gussie's life, her legacy, and her very long list of accomplishments. Gussie Wallace left her mark on the hearts of many and also her mark on history through her contributions to NASA's space mission to the moon. It doesn't matter the color of your skin, your level of education, it doesn't matter if you want to reach the highest heights and you want to be the best that you can be. She proved that you can do it. One of Gussie's most notable accomplishments was her work on the Apollo missions. My grandmother, um, my grandmother, you know, was the one who had played such a major role um, that the world knew about but never knew about her. Gussie was part of the team that developed new technology for the first lunar module. Gussie's daughter Glenda says growing up she didn't know much about her mother's work. And what mom worked on was top secret. So all we know is that she went to work and came home. And went to work and came home. It wasn't until later she realized the extent of her accomplishments. With that Apollo 11 mission, the part that she worked on, uh, if, they, if it had failed, they would not have gotten off the moon. But we were just so proud of her once we really began to see what she had really done. Our mom, our mom had made a mark on the moon. <laughs> Gussie's family wants to make sure her story is heard. Look at what she accomplished. Anything's accomplished. They told her no. They told her it couldn't be done and she did it and then brought astronauts home who we thought were lost in space forever. And if Gussie could share one message with the world. I think the one thing would be just to love your family and love God with all your heart and all your soul. Because if she was sitting right here in her favorite chair, she would say if it had not been for the Lord who was on her side, she wouldn't have made it. And that's a fact. Her funeral service will be held tomorrow at Greater Emmanuel Apostolic Church at 10 a.m. Taylor Nimmo, WCPO 9 News.